difficulty the normal game with the sim and everything. We're gonna be playing, as you can see here, on the professional difficulty. Um, maybe some of you are asking, what in the world is the difference? Well, uh, just to name a few things, there is no simulation mode. There, uh, you know, some of the items and drops are, you know, different. No uh, magic sword that you saw. Uh, there's gonna be no magic at all. I'm gonna start with full health. All enemies that took one damage now take two hits. All enemies do even more damage. It's 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 great. It's it's awesome. It's also much shorter. Uh, so you know, without getting too much more into it, let's just uh, get it going. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start. And time starts on control. So we'll just uh, try our best to get that going. So here we go. Alright, let's get it going. First level one right here is going to be Fillmore. Um, again, there's going to be, uh, I'm sure Sin went into a lot of the mechanics behind this game, but you're going to be seeing me jump and slash a whole heap and lot. Uh, there's about a six frame window where slashing while jumping is going to actually boost you and make you go higher and a little bit further. Um, so basically anytime I'm slashing while jumping is completely intentional. It also kind of, for some reason, uh, lets you kind of snap to uh, certain surfaces that you jump onto, and just like that, we are to our first boss. So that was not the way you do this, but we're just gonna do it like this. This is fine. Oh, come on over here, buddy. All right. So sometimes when you uh, start a run for Retrothon, you gotta wake up. We're gonna wake up right now. <laughs> Anyway, that's the Deadly Minotaur right there. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Alright, Fillmore 2. Um, one uh, interesting thing to note about the uh, Japanese version of this game, where the special mode is, you get the super hype Fillmore 1 music twice. Unfortunately, in our American version here, we get the really nice and calm cave music here. Now, one thing I didn't mention also is if you press the attack button as you're walking off of a ledge, uh, you get what uh, is referred to as a fast fall, which you saw there, which kind of lets you fall just like it sounds, like way, way faster. It's great. So here is going to be the first instance of a good old-fashioned damage boost. In our end of the neighborhood, in our, in our neck of the woods, it is completely 100% allowed. <laughs> the streamer is cheating right here. I know, guys. Just calm down. <laughs> that part actually is a very extremely difficult platforming section. Uh, and we just skip it because it's impossible. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and use all the tools at our disposal to go really fast because that's what a speedrun's all about. So here, we got the... The, the Minotaur has just shown off the rock and bod, and you know what, let's get that off screen. I'm a little jealous of that guy's physique. Let's just get on out of here, Minotaur. <clears throat> nice and easy, nice and good. So here we go to Bloodpool, um, which uh, for those of you who stuck around and watched uh, Sin's Any Percent Run, you, you know the, the, the story and plight of the uh, poor Teddy here, uh, who gets lost in the grape juice of blood pool. Now it's grape juice, I know you're thinking it's... It's called blood pool, what are you talking- no, it's, it's just grape juice, don't even worry about it. Um... So here's gonna be another instance. These first three bosses, uh, have been completely, completely set RNG. Um, there's no RNG at all, in fact, uh, of the way you manipulate them, and I'm just gonna be quiet so I can focus on what I'm doing here, but... Completely set pattern. Oh boy. Alright, that's fine. So as, uh, as you see, when you, when you kind of get off, you, you, uh, I hear, I hear in the back of my head echoes of my really good friend's sin of respect the pattern. That's something that's very important in this game when you, when you mess up or goof off, just remember it. Respect the pattern and you're gonna be just fine. Um. So here Blood Pool 2 is going to be the first instance of some really, really cool things that I'm going to try to do that are based off the new task that was just uh, released by Koizer um, that I highly recommend everyone check out. Um, 
there's going to be a really cool clip here that is saves about a second and a half that he found that is really, really cool, really tough to pull. Oh my goodness. No, this is fine. That's, that, that's not the, oh, this isn't the strat in the task. That's not it. All right, now we like actually don't have enough health to do it, but you know what? It's all, it's all good. We'll try it anyway. See if we can pull it off. <laughs> all right, we gotta we gotta break even now. That's for sure. So we're gonna jump through, get a back, get a back boost here. Two slash jumps, land on the elevator. Oh, and there it is. Yo, the Quasar Task clip right there, boys. Looking good, looking good. Um, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this statue real quick. Okay, that was actually bad because I lost more health than I should have gotten, so that was not good. Okay, well, I was gonna try to hopefully show off the skelevator. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do, we didn't get to do it because I uh, messed it up there. But there is another cool strat where you can kind of jump behind that. Um, I almost called him his. Uh, yeah, no, it's a, the very nice skeleton man. Okay, this is just just calm down. We are just goofing off right now. No, oh, and I, I believe me, guys. I've played this game before. I know, I know you might think. Anyway, so here's here's Zeppelin Wolf. I'm gonna do a slight little setup. We're gonna hope he goes to the bottom or middle sections. I'm gonna hit him to the till his health is right below half. Oh, that's a really good pattern. Zeppelin Wolf says, "You're not on pace. You're having a rough run." Yo, let me throw let me throw you a bone. I appreciate you, Zeppelin Wolf. Absolute legend. Um, so that's like the first instance of a. Of the, the heaviest RNG in the run. Um, if he goes to the top, or if he goes to the stays on the ground, you lose, uh, you know, between 5 and 3 seconds per cycle. Which is just, I mean, you can play perfectly and get bad luck, and your your run just kind of, you know, starts off in a in a negative spot, which is no good. Anyway, we're on, uh, on to Dagobah here, Cassandora. Um... There's a few cool strats on this level. Most of it is just damage boosting our way through it. Looking like Jad the Tad and Captain Gordon's pacifist elevator action run here. Just gonna not even pull out our weapon and just walk through all these enemies. Don't even worry about it. We're gonna go for a really tough slash strat right here. That's not gonna be it. That's not gonna hit it. So I knew I was on the wrong uh, movement there, so I just didn't even go for it. We're gonna get a, a safety health right here. Or not health, excuse me, a safety one up. Because we're not completely awake right now. So, you know, that's just, just in case disaster strikes later on. Alright, so here's gonna be this, uh... We're gonna hope to hopefully kill this guy in three cycles, see if I can get my setup here. A backwards... No, that's not it. Okay. Well, we could get on the second slash. Okay, well... Remember when I said we weren't awake? Ugh. Alright, we're still gonna get a four cycle, don't even worry about it. <laughs> Um, I have a cool, uh, little setup where I try to keep the, uh, enemy boss head up for just slightly longer to get extra hits on the first cycle. It didn't even come close to happening, but that's fine. Alright, so, Cassandora 2 here. Um, this is gonna be the, another instance of a huge run killer, um, level because there are, uh, quite a few, uh, tricks in this level that you really need to hit, and by quite a few, I mean two. Um, we're going to try this, uh, spike jump here. We're going to become the radish here. We're going to have about a two frame window. Let's see if we hit it. <laughs> oh, did I say two frame window? I meant a billion frame window that you can drive a truck through. Dude, just get off the side of the road. I'm coming through and we're going to hit the clip up here. We're going to do a back boost. Not even an issue. Guys. Oh, and we got the jump through that. Yo. It's almost like we know how to play the game. Can you? Can you? Are you seeing this? All right, we're just gonna jump over an arrow, dude. Looks good. So this room right here is uh, timed globally. So yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, we're not the task, so we can't jump over these mummies. So we're just gonna go ahead and slash them. Um, we want to make it to the elevator before like 172 on the timer. <laughs> Plenty of time. Plenty of time here. Uh, for some reason, when you jump after grabbing this apple, it kind of manipulates this guy to slash at your ankles and just miss. And so, yeah. Uh, here's the pharaoh, pharaoh boss. 
going to go ahead and turn around, and then this is completely normal video game. This is a normal video game, and these are hitboxes. See? We're just- we hit the wall, and we- <laughs> this- don't even worry about it. Alright. <laughs> Wait, what's our time looking like? Oh my gosh! We are on world record pace, I'm just kidding. I am absolutely kidding. <laughs> Um, alright, so if I wanted to channel my inner Bismarck, I would duel the, uh, the Arima on this level, but I'm just gonna take the Raft Ride, and everyone say it with me. We have a song that we like to sing right here. Spicy Meatball! Spicy Meatball! Spicy Meatball! Okay, um, <laughs> I actually took a lot of hits from the spicy meatball, so this is a little sketchy. <laughs> Alright, um, just hit Volcano Jump, it's gonna be fine. Um, so there's another similar jump in this level, um, to, the, to Cassandra 2, where, um, you have, like, a very small frame window to hit it, and if you hit it, it saves some time, and if you don't, it's bad. So we're just gonna run through all these things, boost up slightly. I am gonna have exactly 4 HP. Oh my god, I actually have 2. Okay, so this is bad. Um, yeah, okay, well... <laughs> Alright, we're gonna actually try to show off another task strat, because that's the only thing I know how to do. Um, we're gonna hopefully get this task grab here. It's very difficult, and if I miss it, we're dead. Uh, so... Let's hope I can play like a task real quick, don't even worry about it. Oh, nope. Okay, that's fine. Dang. So you can actually get that, um... Apple grab from a slash boost right there, but it's very difficult. Alright, this boss, I'll try to say something about it after I fight it. Okay, maybe good. We try to get a 181 on the game clock. Oh, I missed one slash. Okay, I missed like three slashes right there, because turning around is impossible in this game. Alright, that's all good. We're gonna get a 176. Or not. Oh my goodness, wait, where are you going? Okay, that's fine. Don't even worry about it. <clears throat> um, <laughs> that was... a thing. Anyway, we're gonna go to Atos 2, which is, uh... I, I would like to toot my own horn here, if I may. One of my one of my best levels, and now that I say that, I'm probably just gonna fall into the ragu and look like a bozo, but hey. If you can't jinx yourself, then why are you even playing video games? So we're gonna back boost off of here. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, remember when I said I'm gonna... Okay. <laughs> okay, okay guys. You, you know, for those of you who are watching that don't play this game, you're probably like, Wow, that didn't look too bad. Why are you raspberrying all over the mic? Dude, don't even worry about it. That's definitely the strat that I wanted to do. <laughs> We're gonna slash this guy, get a few meatball slash- Oh no! Oh no! Okay, well... <laughs> uh, Alright, it's fine. That's our first death. Alright, for those of you who only stick around for no miss runs, see you later. I think we all know who I'm talking to. <laughs> we're gonna go up here. We can do this really cool thing right here, too. Is another. Oh, I, I missed it, too, so we're not gonna do the really cool thing. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get up here and kill the wheel. Alright, so this is... Clearly a very o a very optimal fight here. Just get get hit and slash him. Just win the damage war, no big deal. Oh man, remember when I tooted my own horn and said I was gonna jinx myself? I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Marana 2. Uh, I'm gonna go for a, for a clip in this level that I usually don't go for, just to try to show it off. Um, there's a clip uh, at the end of the screen that saves about a second and a half. That is very, very difficult. Um, we're also gonna- Oh, I was just gonna say we're gonna jump onto that stair, but I didn't even get it. Rip. Alright, so we're gonna go for this arrow clip right here. We're gonna jump over this guy, wait for him to shoot in air. I'm gonna slash him once to tell him who's boss, and then... And now you're seeing why I never go for it. There it is. Okay, alright, see, you saw it. You, you guys saw it. You, you guys know what I was doing there, you know? That's totally- <laughs> That's the clip! 
<laughs> uh, except for you don't fall out of the wall and just fall straight down, you guys. It's all good. All right. <laughs> all right, I have, like, no health right here, so, okay, one, two, three. You know what? Let's just grab an apple here. Um, this is the intended route, for sure. All right, it's all good. <clears throat> Otherwise, we were gonna, like, be totally dead for this boss. No big deal. Uh, so we're gonna go up here and, uh, do our good old strat of getting hit into the wall, but there's not a wall there. Oh, there's a wall there. You just have to believe that there's a wall there. See? Oh my goodness! Okay, this is... Alright, you remember? You know what? It's fine. We're just gonna go over here, come over here. Maybe we'll get hit into the wall now? Oh my gosh. Alright, it's fine. Uh, I'm not gonna show my face, so I'm just gonna keep my head above the screen so you guys can't look at me. I'm hiding from you. You can't see me. I can't see you. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, Marana 2 here is uh, another instance of a RNG boss that is... Um... Kind of a, a big, a big, uh, at this point, um... With what the, uh, time is looking like, it is kind of... Kind of required to get good RNG here. Um, we're gonna slash buffer on this screen while the screen's loading and not hit the strat, so pretend like I didn't even say anything. Um, basically, Kalia at the at the uh, end of this level here can either dip down with spikes or shoot lasers at you. You want to see three dips. If you see three dips, that's good. You that is optimal. Every laser ball you see is going to be a time loss of about three and a half seconds. Um, so we really don't want to see it. It's not a huge deal, but... Um, we do not want to see any laser balls. So that's good. Good. Hey, look at that. We got good RNG. Very good. So, getting those extra slashes are a new are a, a new runner's worst nightmare. Uh, I call them like Kalia jumps. You have to like jump. You you jump a direction, then immediately press backwards, and then do the slash boost. So it's kind of like a neutral slash boost. Um, it's really tough to get the hang of, but like once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. So now we get our really nice. Uh, Nice and relaxing music here. We're gonna do our best to not take a dip into the water. Taking a dip into the water is forbidden by our good friend Sinstream. Oh, and there's an eyeball right there. Don't get hit by the eyeball. I like to dip my toes in the water just to just to see how it how it uh, how the temperature. No, oh my goodness, that's cold. We don't want to be in there. Um, yeah, you can actually go in there and get that one up right there, and it is 100% absolutely not worth it to get it because you lose like 15 seconds but hey if you're a new runner and you have like one or two lives left by all means hey i used to do it and the only thing that's stopping me from doing it now is not getting ridiculed by my good friends <laughs> all right so this boss uh no rng we can um completely manipulate what he does by just where we're positioned um, so we're gonna do our- oh my goodness, yeah, that's fine. Alright, 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 uh, wait, why are you over there? Can you come over here, guy? No, alright. We have plenty of health, no big deal. Um, so this boss, we're gonna hopefully see a 181 on the game time, that means I did it perfectly. Um, with how things are going, I fully expect to execute this boss fight with 100% accuracy, and I already messed it up. <laughs> Oh boy, alright, we missed a lot of slashes there, chat. Alright, don't even worry about it. We're gonna take a hit. No big deal, no big deal. <laughs> oh gosh! Alright, alright, alright. Hey, remember when I said a 181's optimal? I lied, it's a 175. That's a completely optimal fight! <laughs> Oh, goodness. Alright, we only have one level left, and that is going to be North Wall Act 2, where I'm sure Sin showed off Axe Gang, but you know what? Can I get a Spore Gang in the chat? If you guys are, you know, here for Spore Gang, let me get a Spore Gang in the chat. I'm going to show you the real gang in this game. We're going to come over here, turn around, one, two, three, four, jump, and go right into the wall, 
Easy peasy every time first try. I'm talking about Spore Gang, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Oh wow, that's a lot of eyeballs right there. Can we just not get hit by them? Thank you. Alright. So here is a really cool, fun climbing section that I just completely messed up right there, no big deal. These bubbles coming up on the next screen, I'm gonna try to do my fast bubble strat, which saves about a second, but it looks really cool and probably doesn't look impressive, but it took me an extremely long time to be able to get this strat. Hey, and we did- Oh, the backup! Just walk off the bubble! It's so easy, alright. So that wasn't like completely the strat, but we still got- Oh, we didn't even get a 186, rip. Alright. So we want we want to not go to Swoop City here. Um, every time the Wyvern swoops, you uh, can only hit him four times, as opposed to maybe like nine times. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Oh gosh, that was only like seven times. Hey, not too bad, not too bad. All right, that is going to be the last level of the run. Now we're on to our boss rush. Um, this has been a <laughs> a very rough one here. Um, but it's fine. So we get to fight all of the second act bosses over again in our very, very spooky Deathheim section. But they are all faster. Oh, that was really good. I got six hits there. So, uh, in oh my gosh, another six hit? No, I didn't get it. That was really good, though. Um, so again, here's where RNG really comes to... Uh, it comes to play, it comes in factor when you're uh, trying to get a top time in this game. This uh, Zeppelin Wolf refight is completely up to Zeppelin Wolf. Whether or not he wants to be nice or be a jerk, let's see what he does. That's not a good start. That's. Alright. Okay, so where are you gonna go now, buddy? Oh my goodness, alright. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. You, you play the game perfectly. And I've seen this from Bismarck and Sin, and I've experienced it myself plenty of times. You play the run perfectly, and then you get to this fight in the boss rush, and he gives you the pattern that he just gave me, and you lose about 16, 17 seconds. <laughs> and it's not like I even played that terribly, That's, that was just complete bad luck. Um, we're gonna try to clip into the wall here again, see if we can do it better than last time. Alright, good. Alright, I only have two health here, um, so we'll technically one hit. So we're gonna take an intentional death on the wheel boss. I'm gonna take an intentional death out of the wheel boss here. Um, an interesting strat for this, uh, for this fight is holding down the jump button and then letting go. Um, when you see the first pixel of this screen will snap you to this platform perfectly, so we'll see if we can do that here. So that was the strat, really good. Oh, hey, imagine standing the correct way. Oh, but yeah, as you saw, if you kind of hold the button and then let go, uh, when you see, the, it snaps you there, it's perfect, it's, it's great. Um, next up is going to be Kalia. This refight is also extremely difficult, um, and if you get bad RNG here, you lose a ton of time. Uh, every laser blast, again, is a few seconds of... You, you can't hit the boss as many times as you can when he when he dips, and in fact, when he dips on this refight, it's very difficult to get the optimal amount of hits in because of how small of a window you have. I am not doing a very good job of showing this off. But that's okay. Not too bad. A 176 on the game timer is not a terrible refight for Kalia. In fact, if I were doing this and on PB pace and I got that, I would be extremely satisfied. Alright, so, um, Wyvern here, again, you don't want him to take you to Swoop City. Um, Swoop City is bad. Because, again, you can't, you just... That's, yeah. <laughs> you just can't get as many hits on him. That was, uh, terrible. That uh, was a good, decent pattern. Um, a really good refight would be something in the 180s, like a 180, 182 would be insanely good. Um, so that was 179, so not terrible, pretty average. And now we're up to the final boss in Tanzra. Um, you can play the game all the way to here, and... <laughs> I will say so myself, I do not have a 3-cycle in the current PB, which is the current world record. So there's at least, if you do everything the same as me, there is at least about 8 seconds on the table, because I did not 
get a three cycle on this final form. Uh, you, the goal is to get nine hits uh, from these uh, shots, and we'll see if we can pull it off here. I like to do some jumps to try to time myself. Hey, that was nine. That was good. Try to destroy these orbs. Okay, we can jump slash this one. Oh, maybe we can't. Okay, that was eight. If we get another eight cycle, we're still fine for, th for a three cycle. Alright, um, this is sketchy. Alright, can we get eight hits? Yes, that was a three cycle, and time's gonna be when we stand up. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, we got the three cycle in the marathon. Pretty happy about that. I won't, I won't lie. Alright, wow, thank everyone for the GG's. Thank you so much, man. You know what? I woke up this morning and I thought to myself, there is no way I'm getting underestimated on both of these runs today. You know what? Always believe in yourself. Always believe in yourself. Big shout out to uh, the previous runner before me, Sin underscore stream. He was the main inspiration for me learning this game. 